Today we're going to take a look at the basics of the LabVIEW environment and data flow programming. If you have a copy of LabVIEW installed, you can actually follow along. To get started, we're going to click on Create Project. Now from this dialog, you'll see a wide array of templates and sample projects that provide out-of-the-box, ready-to-run applications. But for the sake of going through the basics, we'll start with a blank VI, or virtual instrument. Now every VI in LabVIEW is comprised of a front panel, where we define the user interface, and a block diagram, where we define the code. Now, we can right-click on either of these to explore the variety of different items we can place on the front panel or block diagram. On the front panel, we can, for example, place graphs, charts. We can place uh, knobs, in this case. And all of these can be fully customized, changed, recolored, etc. For our first example, we're going to use the knob to determine the frequency of a generated signal, which we'll then display on this graph. And we'll label them accordingly. Now, if we want to navigate between the front panel and the block diagram, we can actually double-click on any of these components, and it'll take us to the corresponding item on the other panel. In this case, double-clicking on the graph took me to its terminal on the block diagram. Now, the frequency needs to actually generate a sine wave. To do this, I'll right-click on my block diagram, and here we see the wide array of functions and analysis routines I can choose from. I'm going to go into my signal processing palette, and explore the uh, waveform generation palette. Now, as you'll see, there's a wide array of functions and different utilities we can take advantage of. If I want to learn more about any of these and their capabilities, I can actually use the contextual help window, which is shown here in the upper right corner of my screen. If you don't already have it open, simply press Control H on your keyboard. This shows me what this function will return, what values it'll return, given certain inputs. So I'll go ahead and click it and place it on the block diagram. We'll keep our labels on to clearly indicate what our application is doing. Now, at this point, I'll wire up my frequency to the frequency input, try to straighten our wires out accordingly, and we'll wire up our signal output to our graph. Having set this up, I can go ahead and adjust the frequency of my signal to, say, about 6 hertz, and click Run. And you can see this is going to generate a very simple sine wave. 